Good evening, we are back again with another video. Um, my goodness, ants everywhere. Um, welcome to summer in New Hampshire. Um, we got another chills for you today. Um, we have 12 scary videos, uh, 12 scary videos, too scary to handle. Anybody could title their stuff that. That's a very common title, I feel like. But uh, we'll see if this one lives up to it. Let's go. Some of these videos could be real and some of them not, but all of them have one thing in common. Don't They're spoil it. too scary for you to handle. Number 12. A YouTuber named Baker X Derek takes a break from biking to explore an abandoned house that's said to be haunted. At the top of a steep and cracked driveway is a backyard area littered with trash and a makeshift entrance kicked into the wall. It looks like a pretty normal abandoned house until a dark, narrow hallway makes him hesitant to explore further. <laughs> Derek forces himself to investigate the hallway, and this weird spot of mysterious light, maybe a ghost, is what he finds at the end of a dark room. There's nothing else for it to be, and no reason for it to be there. Oh, and yeah. How strange anomaly is. It seems see to be moving, else, too, a little bit. He goes to explore the equally dark and creepy basement. He stays close to the wall and doesn't go far into the room. A wise choice based on what happens next. He is squinting into the darkness when something happens that's too scary for him to handle. Dude, I think I hear somebody. I think I hear something. Oh! Suddenly get thrown at him? The scary noise right next to him sends him running back to his bike to peel away and never return. I don't think <clears throat> this was a skit because there was absolutely nobody else with him. That's he was true. Exploring the abandoned house all alone. Just seemed like a Number casual. 11. He got curious. This alleged ghost you know? caught on video is People do that all the time. Taken on a CCTV Sometimes they probably shouldn't, but they do. Whoa. City. At first, it looks more like bright light at the top of the screen than a person. But then it briefly takes the shape of a human as it passes through the courtyard. Soon it does seem kind of like a figure a bit, but why are you running away. like that? The 22nd mark is when you can see at the clearest a possible ghost looking at it the just, camera. One with long, dark it phases. Hair, a long dress, it like distorts. A it's like distorted. Almost touches the ground. Number 10. A man works at a haunted building where footsteps, moans, and other ghost noises are fairly commonplace. One night he is the last to leave. He hears some ghost noises throughout the empty building and gets on Snapchat to document the encounter for paranormal evidence. Ooh, shadow figure. He turns around and sees a ghost in the hallway that he was just in. A ghost behind the window of a locked office to be exact, or so he claims. Shadow he figure. The building before he can get another look, but as far as I can tell, that this looks, looks like very real though, huh? back turned and their hood up to me. Not a shadow figure or a ghost. Assuming this is not scripted, it kind of moves. It actually, it does kind of move like a human. Actually, that's weird. That secretly living here. That could have just been a person. I feel like it moves so humanly. It does. You know, like a guy who's like a hooded dude is standing in the hallway. You know, just just like waiting for something. You know, sometimes sometimes when you're waiting, you're you know you're you're just doing that. Sometimes you're bored. You know? So yeah, sometimes you twist back and forth a little bit. Sometimes I do that. I, I think that's just... I think that's Someone, just... A, I think that's staged. Either staged or he just exactly met another random person in that place. It didn't... That it didn't look... Like, shadow figure-like. Like, it wasn't pitch black. I feel like I could see some light reflecting off of it. It's, it's had... You know... It wasn't like a shadow. It was like a dark object. Like a dark physical object, like corporeal. Like a dark corporeal object, you know, like a like a like guy in a jacket. It didn't seem So you look a bit closer. Didn't seem ghostly. I'm calling I'm calling I'm calling BS on that one. TV. 
That was a proper the apparition. That was a much more proper apparition. In their window and that time. Past. It's pitch black outside, and yet somehow the outline of a mysterious figure is visible. Yep. If they live in the city, then this could just be someone walking down the street for all we know. But if they had a private yard in a quiet neighborhood, then yeah, this is a really It would definitely video. make less much. Although I don't see anything out there other than other than that. There's no like city lights. So something that makes her think she's in a haunted hospital. Probably not in an area where people would be walking by like that. Paranormal evidence caught on her phone camera. I don't like hospitals. Her cup of water is moving all by itself like a ghost. All my experiences of it, my experiences at hospitals have been bad experiences. All right, come on, guys. Okay, I know it's a good game, all right, but still. It's not what we came here to see. As she suspects, possibly her guardian angel. I don't know about you, but I would take no comfort in a cup moving all by itself moments before getting surgery. Yeah, no, nobody anyway, would. Anyway, I've seen videos where a cup moves by itself after the bottom of the glass gets wet through condensation. However, there are no water droplets on the outside of the glass to indicate condensation has occurred here. Nor is there a trail of water behind the cup. Her table looks dry to me. And for this reason, There's a ghost in the room. I agree. I would definitely not want to be under an operation in that room. Number seven. A YouTuber named Marcus Green and his friend Sarah go exploring abandoned houses near the woods, completely unaware that their paranormal investigation is about to go wrong. Through the window, they find this kid's duck toy has been left here all by itself. Its back is a little burnt. They mm. also find an abandoned nursery home with an old crib and a floor full of abandoned possessions. This was someone's this house. Room left to explore, but apparently that's when a ghost lets Marcus know that this area of the abandoned house is off limits. Anyone's oh, shit. fallen? It's me. Actually, I take that back. Two bangs. Why did that just stop? <laughs> oh my god! Oh what? my god! Oh my Why did that just stop? <laughs> oh my god! I didn't I saw oh the god. I didn't see oh I saw god. maybe the door move a little bit. They've been laughing and joking this entire time. So Sarah doesn't entirely believe him when Marcus tells her that the door won't open again. It only opens halfway like someone is pressing against the other side. And at 6 minutes and 14 seconds, the door actually starts to push back closed and he runs. Oh. He's nowhere near the door when it happens. And if it was furniture blocking the other side, then that doesn't explain why the door stops for a moment before closing. Yeah, it's not Number like chairs six. don't move on their own. Other than when we deal with ghost this stuff. On camera while recording the steps of his haunted home. Watch closely and you'll see a strange shadow moving from one door to the Almost other. Almost looks like the, the ghost of a dog or something. The shadowy figure or a cat. is too dark to be dust and almost looks like feet walking across the carpet. When the man goes downstairs <laughs> to investigate, he finds nothing is there and maybe nothing ever was. Number five. This 2011 video was taken on a regular phone camera in India. It's six in the morning and this alleyway is always empty. <laughs> Yet a mysterious shadow keeps moving past the front door. What? Oh my god. It's one of those quickly moving... It's one of those ones that moved really fast. This video even creepier. A crow calls out to no one the whole time. Yeah, I did hear that. I, I didn't know what that was, though. The shadow could have been the crow from above, but it doesn't look like the shape of a bird. It looks like a fear. Crows tend to cry out when something they don't like is near, which this one definitely seems to be doing. At one minute and six seconds, it looks like the shadow figure reaches down to try and test the locks. Tell me what you think is going on here, because I think, ghost or otherwise, something is definitely trying to find its way in. Number 4. Phil LaJoya decides to take on the Candyman challenge based on the 90s horror flick of the same name. You're supposed to recite his name three times in a row oh and then you will have a sighting of him. The man with a hook for a hand, usually in the mirror, as the legend goes. Candyman. 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 Ooh. It's too dark for Phil to have a sighting, but the drawer does open while he is standing completely still. 
and it's followed by two more scary banging noises, a sign that Candyman is near. Something about his home feels different now, a change in air pressure, like a presence is now with him. He goes outside and three ghost orbs follow him. See here. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? An orb appears every time he says hello. He doesn't really see anything else out of place, but he knows that something is near. So Phil creeps up on the mirror for I one didn't last see the orbs. look, and that's when he sees it. Well, Oh. It's hard to see, but play in slow motion and you'll see the shadowy figure of the candy man looking at him through the mirror. He is standing behind Phil I, and is I can like shorter. barely see it. Then again, this could just be Phil's own shadow cast behind him by the light in the mirror. Do you think this paranormal encounter <laughs> okay, is real? Okay, it could be. Or is this paranormal investigator likely afraid of their own shadow? To be fair though, but I, I really don't think he would have ran away from that if he had ever, either. if he had ever, if he, if it was his shadow, because I think people would be considered the fact that it might be their shadow. What the hell is that? Behind him with its head down. This picture is actually seven years old and Reddit still argues about whether this is a ghost sighting or not. Plenty of people see a ghost girl wearing a gray dress who looks to be going into the next room. However, another oh, that is, is just... that a stuffed toy was being thrown behind the boy, and its movement through the air is what creates its strange motion blur. Another okay, that could be possible. A, woman a one in a million shot. In the background. According to the uploader, this house is haunted and mysterious figures are seen here all of the time, along with scary noises and other strange happenings. With it that could said, be a small doll that's literally headed straight for his head right now. <laughs> because when you look under the figure, Sis decided, see decided to throw no something at him. On the wood green floor. Number two, it doesn't, Omar yeah, Mance it's true. Goes to an abandoned house for a paranormal investigation so that could just be a one in a million no shot from flying the miles, miles, but he and his or it could be edited. Sure that someone is in the house with them. They can sense it. Could have been Around placed on that on that, floor, that photo. Two strangers and <clears> photos are definitely more questionable when it comes ritual, to believing paranormal. Videos are usually more credible. Apparently so wrapped up in their supernatural summoning, for both determining if one is true, if, if one is real, or whether or not it may be fake. So here's the weird For both thing. sides, really. At 12.50, Omar clearly shines his light directly into the room. But the evil it's is so thick back. that it's no good. light can pass through. What is going on here? I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload already done that. Scary videos that way more than... Uh, I did it way less than five seconds like in real uh, life. Yeah. Go to my I did it way less than in five Jill seconds. YT, More like a few years ago. <laughs> Number one. I stumbled across this eerie video on Reddit that I wanted to get your opinion on. Yo, what the First a phantom streak of light runs parallel with You're just gonna say, what is shoulder. that? He goes to point it out to the camera, and then it briefly attaches itself to his finger and flies off. He tries to make it happen once more, but strangely he cannot duplicate the light, which makes this a possible ghost sighting. And when you look at Tiny this ghost. at 6 seconds, it kind of looks like a ghost with outstretched ethereal arms. Now that's just terrifying. Oh yeah. You are alone, I did see that. Be careful watching this video because that means there's nobody nearby to hear your scream. <laughs> there's the thought. Thanks. <laughs> um all right. Well, that was uh, definitely a short video, but definitely had some good uh we definitely had some good sightings in there. Thankfully nothing to give me jump scares. I am uh but I definitely don't normally like to get jump scared, but they happen. Um, well, that's that. We'll be back again tomorrow night. Hopefully, we should be. Um, we had a severe weather threat this afternoon, but for uh, New Hampshire, except for around coastal areas, nothing ended up happening. We had one severe thunderstorm right at the coast, right near the coast, right right 
it started out just barely crossing the border from Massachusetts to New Hampshire and then just went straight for the coastline. Excuse me. Everybody else got like nothing. Maybe a couple of weak thunderstorms or two, but that's it. That's it. Dud. The opposite of yesterday, of, of last night. Last night, uh, I recorded some videos. Those videos are going to be uploaded soon. It's uh, it's taking me a little bit of, a little bit of time because they took up a lot of my storage, like literally. They they're, 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 uh, there's there's three videos. The first one is like 30 minutes, but the I was able, but because storage started getting low, I had to clean a few things out. And I was able to get two more short ones in, but altogether those that stuff has taken up like 50 GB at least. So, um. <laughs> It's, uh, quite a lot. It, it's huge. Um, so... Gonna get that uploaded as soon as, as soon as I can, so it's safely put onto YouTube, and so I can clean and get my 50 store and get my 50 GB back. <laughs> um, so... Um... Yeah, we will get that done um, until t until tomorrow night. Goodbye.